It is June 24th, 2022, 3.29 p.m., episode 1715, and goodbye, women's rights. That's what happened today. I drew this cartoon this morning, actually, earlier this morning, before that ruling came in. Uh, yesterday, I got this request from an editor. It wasn't a, a request. Let me put this uh, correctly. He's at a national publication, and he just said, I'm surprised that you haven't done anything on Dan Snyder yet. And then I thought, I really should do something on Dan Snyder. And now when him asks me that, doesn't mean that they're going to run the cartoon. It just, I guess he's, he's looking for something on it anyway. And so I didn't do this for them to run it, but I thought I really do need to do something on Dan Snyder. And I saw the pardon thing during yesterday's hearings. And I, I thought, let me just, I want to hit those too. So let me do that. And uh, then this morning I had to work on the CNN cartoon. And that was already written yesterday. And it was down. Um, I mean, the idea was down. I was just waiting for standards to green light it. And they did that this morning. So... I did this cartoon this morning, uh, super early, around like midnight, because what I did yesterday, I screwed up my sleeping schedule. I went to sleep early, early, like around 6 o'clock. You would think that's a nap. I guess it was a nap, but I slept at 10. And the reason that I slept so long is because I was in a, a spaghetti coma. I had so much spaghetti. It was just one plate, but it was a huge plate. And it was my spaghetti, the one that I make, but I brought out the leftovers, and it was awesome, incredible, and scarfed it down, and then it was like... I uh, just gotta lay down a little bit. I thought I might lay down for 20 minutes or so. And yeah. Then I woke up at 10 o'clock and I had a few messages. I'm like, why are these people messaging me? What's going on with that? And uh, it was a message from Tim Campbell, another cartoonist. And he's like, congratulations again. I'm like, congratulations for what? What did I miss? And um, if people congratulate me every day for something that I don't need to be congratulated on, like, like they say a reprint on one of my regular clients. And I'm like, okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, that's great. But, uh, but he, Tim congratulated me. He says, congrats again. I said, for what? He said, you just won the Sigma Delta Chi Award from the Society of Professional Journalists. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure <laughs> I won? Um, it took me 32 years to win one of these. And I got the RFK. And then I got the SDX. Whoa, how did that happen? I saw a thing. I got an email because I'm on the email list to watch their announcements, which came out at 8 o'clock last night. And I totally forgot about it. I was going to watch it. And I actually thought for a second, it would be kind of cool. If I won this, then I had two this year. And then I thought, no way. I, I would know by now. Somebody probably would have called me and told me. Because I knew about the RFK a month before I won it. When I was a finalist with the Herb Block, I knew about maybe three or four days before. Um, I didn't know about this one. But then again, I didn't know when I was a finalist for the headliners. I don't know. Anyway, it's cool. It's cool. I, I'm a two-time winner this year. Um, and I never won one before. And now I have two. And actually... Unless I think Ramirez wins the Michael Ramirez wins the NCS from the National Cartoon Society, I think he's a finalist. If he doesn't win that, then I have won more journalism awards this year than any other political cartoonist. Hey, how about that? How about that? That's just crazy because I don't win awards. I don't win, especially don't win the most awards. So that's that's nuts, guys. I talk to you Saturday. Bye.